Well, that was a little bit awkward. I just turned around and started talking to my camera and it wasn't even on. And then I proceeded to start laughing for the last like five minutes. What is wrong with me today? Oh my goodness. Well, this is gonna be a fun video. I have been getting so many requests to do a video about my nail polish collection, what kind of um, nail polishes I have and how I set them up and how I organize them and all that kind of good stuff. So here is my nail polish collection in all of its glory. I'm gonna kind of show you guys uh, how this is all organized and set up and give you some tips and tricks and pointers and also share with you guys uh, my top three favorite nail polishes and I'm going to put that on my blog so if you want to go check out the link below and see what my top three favorite colors are and what they look like and all that kind of good stuff then check out the blog. So this is my beautiful collection of nail polishes and I just hold it in this beautiful Walmart container that I got and it just keeps everything kind of in order. The only downside obviously is that I'm kind of looking at it from this angle so it makes it tricky to find the right shade so I eventually want to get some sort of like divider things that I can put in here and I can stick these upside down so I can see the color a little bit better. So I have all like my primers and, and top coats and things like that in the first row. So this is um, by far the best top coat that I've ever found. It's by Revlon. It's Colorstay. I have not been able to find it since. If you can find it, let me know. I have this, which is a strengthener because my nails are insanely, insanely frail and thin, so they peel very easily. Um, I have this Grow Stronger, same sort of thing, um, a white tip, and then the mattifier. Then the next row, I have all of my pink nail polishes. So this is Kiss Me Coral. That's by Revlon. And then I have the NARS Orgasm. I have this color, which is Fruity Tutti Tonga, beautiful color. I have this one by um, Essie, which is Shop Till I Drop. This next one's sort of my nudes and bronzy kind of colors. So I have this gold one by Milani. I have this sort of, it's a strengthener, but sort of a coppery shade, which is gorgeous. I have this one by Sephora by OPI, which is already famous, which is amazing. Um, I have a random elf shade that's kind of a nude color. And then I have Buy Me a Cameo by Essie. And then my favorite fall shade, which you guys have been asking about in some of my other videos, which is Metro Chic. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous gray purple color. My next aisle is all of my reds, and I freaking love reds. So this is, um, what is this? This is Red Glamour by Maybelline. I have Red Nouveau by Essie, as well as Clam Bake, which is over here. It's sort of an uh, orange, orangier color. And then this one, which is Red Nouveau by uh, OPI. And then I have, obviously, like this uh, Salon Effects, the Sally Hansen. I've never tried them yet, but I've heard they're really good. So looking forward to testing that out. And then I sort of have a mishmash sort of thing. So I have this, which is sort of... Um, this really really silver silver color which is really cool for like New Year's and stuff like that and that's by Wet n Wild. I have Midnight Cami which is a beautiful midnight blue. Then I have what's this one? This one's by Wet n Wild which is a deeper darker blue. Nocturnal sorry this is nocturnal and then I have this crackle nail polish that my mom got me when her and my dad went on a cruise. Then I have my glitter polishes over here, so this amazing uh, Traffic Stopper Copper. I don't have too, too many colors. Um, this one is by OPI, and this is Lucky Lucky Lavender, which is a really pretty spring shade. I have Tur Turquoise and Caicos by Essie, which I love. And then I have two colors by Gosh Cosmetics that I got from Shoppers. One is in purple and one is in blue. And um, then I have all of my nail supplies. So I have like a cuticle stick that I got from uh, e.l.f. And then I got my clippers and I got sponges and makeup white things and tape and reinforcement label things that I use for special decoration -y things. So those are all of my favorite nail polishes. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite all-time absolute bestest ever nail polishes that you cannot live without. I'd love to know because I'm always on the lookout for new nail polishes. And uh, don't forget to check out my blog if you guys want to see some nail of the day um, pictures as well as what my top three favorite nail polishes are and colors and swatches and all that good stuff. So uh, I will talk to you all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.